Breaking into your Doc Martens is like a rite of passage. Sometimes it's smooth and easy, while other times it's hard and it's a pain in the Today we'll be looking over an article in which the author actually goes out and asks other people on tips on how to break into Doc Martens. So what I did, I just rearranged them from the easiest way to break into Doc Martens to the craziest way to break into Doc Martens. So stay tuned and if you like Doc Martens, consider subscribing to the channel. The first and easiest way to break into your Doc Martens is simply layering socks or having thick socks. This will make like a protective layer so that when it comes to breaking into your Doc Martens, you're not having a lot of blisters and things like that on your feet, which this would work. But to some people, they have very gentle feet, so it doesn't work for everyone. But it's a very simple and easy way to break into your Doc Martens. Layer more socks and you're good to go. Tip number two is if you're generally used to breaking into boots and things like that, or you just generally just wanna go through it no matter what, what you can do is gradually put on your docks and walk around the house and then eventually take it outside for a little bit and just gradually increase the amount of time you spent in those Doc Martens. Eventually, they're going to break in. The only problem with this is it might take some time. It might take a while just to break into them, depending on how much your feet can take and all of that. So this is a great tip, something that I generally have used in conjunction with other things. But yeah, walking into them gradually, awesome tip. Tip three is starting to get a little bit crazy. So with this, you're going to put some newspapers in your Doc Martens, not any newspaper, but some damp newspapers. The reason why you're gonna do this is because it can stretch the toe box. It can make it wider and stuff like that. You want like a tight grip of that newspaper. You wanna stuff it in there and make it tight and then leave it in there overnight. And eventually they do become wider like you break into them easier for me another alternative that i'll use is what the shoe tree or whatever it is the thing that you put in your shoe and then you try to extend it from there i think that's a better way to do it than trying to do the damp paper towels or paper newspapers which i mean i don't recommend but it's readily available so yeah Tip four, use sanitary pads. Yes, I said it, sanitary pads. I believe that's what it's called, right? What it's gonna do is it's gonna prevent blisters because that area, usually with Doc Martens, they are like the strongest part of the boot. So if you do that, you're gonna prevent blisters and you're not gonna get too much friction from your bare feet or your socks or anything. It makes it easier to break into. Another alternative that I'll, I'll have to say with this is that Doc Martens, they do have their own, um, something similar to that. It's like some cushion thing. I've never used it, but it's very similar. You can use that too. And also I've seen um, on TikTok and everything, people are using like, I don't know what it's called. It's like this sleeve thing that prevents from causing too much damage to your feet, basically. I've never used it, but some people say it's good. And I don't know how it works. Like for me, would it be too tight? Would it be too loose? Like I have so many questions with it. But if you want to see me try these tips, please leave it down in the comments below and uh, I can do a in real life try them all out to see if they actually do work. Tip number five, this is partially what's on the Doc Mart website. Usually it just says to use the Wonder Balsamic to spread across your Doc Martens and then eventually they ease up on the leather and things like that. But with this tip, you're gonna need some heat. A lot of people you've seen online, they use um, a blow dryer, which it just eases up the leather so that once you put that balsamic or the wax on your boots, they can just take it all in. For me, I'll get the only alternative that I'll put to this is that you also can use like a portable heater in a small space. For example, I did it with uh, one of my docks. Um, I used the bathroom. I put on the portable heater. It was very warm in there, like a sauna. And then I left my docks in there for like five, maybe 10 minutes. They eased up the leather. And then I put that balsamic on there and they were good to go. Tip number six, something that I haven't even thought about doing, but I actually saw it on TikTok, is squeezing your Doc Martens, like the pain points. For example, I saw this lady on TikTok. She squeezed the back of her Jadens, which is like the biggest pain point for a lot of people. Some people never break into their Jadens, but she squeezed it and she said it helped her break into them. The only thing is if you're strong enough, you can do that. And also please do not destroy your Doc Martens trying to squeeze into them. Tip number seven is to freeze your Doc Martens. Literally, this is quite interesting to me because I feel like I'll make a mess if I do this. But in the article, they said a orthodontist, basically a foot doctor said that it's easier 
to break into your docs if you put them in the freezer. And the way that they describe doing this is you get some big bags and then you pour some water in there, you leave it overnight, four to six hours, four to eight hours, and then you take them out and defrost it and your dock should slowly start to break into, or it just speeds up the process because it's frozen for that long and everything. For me, I think I'll make a big old mess. I'll make my dock martin wet and everything. And yeah, I don't know how long does it take to defrost, things like that. And yeah, I don't know. I think it's something I really want to try. Tip eight is probably the craziest idea that I've heard of. Imagine getting a fresh pair of Doc Martens and then use a hammer on it. Yeah, I know some people are probably going crazy right now, but with that, they said use a hammer and what they do say to protect it is wrap it around a towel and things like that, or even easier, use a mallet because you don't want to destroy your Doc Martens. That's just going to be a waste of money, like no. But yes, I can see this working, but I don't think I want to go to that extreme because I don't want to break my Doc Martens. I don't want to destroy them. I either squeeze them with these hands instead of using the hammer. That's just my personal opinion. Tip number nine, this is probably the craziest tip that I've ever heard and I've never even thought about doing anything close to this, but to break into your Doc Martens, what you're going to need to do is pee on them. Yes, I said it, pee, take a wee on them. Like literally the craziest thing that I've heard. But in the article, they said that the person that suggested that, that their parents, or I believe their father was in the military and that's how they used to break into their boots back then. But this is quite interesting. I'm guessing from the heat, your body heat from the pee or something would help break into them. Like my brain is like going, bizarre right now but it doesn't make sense but i still want to try it but i don't want to destroy my doc martens man i just wish i had like 20 pairs of doc martens just to do this experiment and just see how things are but i'm not trying this yet hopefully eventually so like this video please tip number 10 i'll have to say this is my tip and it's generally to combine the different tips together to figure out what works for you for example for me i like to put my docks in a sauna first to loosen up the leather and then after that I put the balsamic on there take it out for a walk and gradually increase from there I don't know some people might be extreme for example you can pee on your Doc Martens and then once you're done you take it out for a walk and then towards the night you come you put it in the freezer so that it can you know stretch some more right next to your whatever you like to eat and then you gradually go out on a walk with it judgment free zone it is what it is it's not my fault ladies and gentlemen that's the article is there any tips that were useful let me know in the comments down below and also please do not go and pee on your doc martens and said i told you to pee on your doc martens no do not do that but if you have some doc martens or you're about to get some doc martens check out this video right here where it shows you what your doc martens says about you You'd be surprised.